Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today we're gonna have another sort of catch up with the garden slash farming progress. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just basically voice over some of the clips and update you guys on all the stuff that has happened since the last farm update video. <laughs> so my rabbit just leveled up to level 100 and what I'm gonna do is actually pick him up and see how much cat wants for the upgrade 133,000 sure let's do it here we go i now have all the coins and uh, let's get this underway oh and it's gonna take 12 hours so not too long and then uh, i'm gonna try and get him to legendary as well depending on how much it costs there was also a traveling zoo a couple of days ago and i actually managed to get myself a lion pet so uh that was pretty nice it, it was uh i think a hundred thousand coins i don't know maybe like two or three enchanted raw beef i think it was or something like that but yeah that's our first exotic pet Alrighty, so I have been doing quite a lot of farming and when I say quite a lot of farming, I mean quite a lot of farming. If we look in my chest over here, I have almost three stacks of crappies. I have got a lot of melons and carrots and all the other stuff as well. So uh, I have been pretty busy, but I have also been grinding towards uh, a little bit of an upgrade and that is the crappie armor. So I actually have enough materials to craft the chest plate. I have them laid out right here. And then for the leggings, we are actually missing two boxes of seeds. So I will be still working towards that. And then for the helmet, we are also missing six boxes of seeds. So uh, I'm going to still have to continue farming wheat. And uh, that's fine because I still need the whole upgrade anyway. So uh, yeah, we're working towards that. But now if we go ahead and actually grab this stuff out we can craft our first piece of crappie armor how crazy is that on an iron man profile this is wow it is i i don't even know what to say but uh right i have all the materials laid out it is right there look at that crappie chest plate plus 25 farming fortune and tiered bonus squash buckle farming pumpkins melons and cocoa beans have a 0.01 percent chance of dropping a squash wow that is very very rare considering crappie is 0.03 and then it goes to 0.01 how rare is fermento then is it like 0.0001 I don't know, but we will have to wait and see. But for now though, uh, let's go ahead and craft our first piece of crappie armor. I'm holding it in my hand. Beautiful. And there we go. We are now rocking a nice red shirt. I can actually craft the boots. I've got enough. So yeah, I completely forgot that you don't need box of seeds for the shoes. And uh, I have more than enough materials to craft it. So uh, let's go ahead and craft the crappie boots as well. And uh, I might actually even use them when I'm farming melons and pumpkins to try and boost my um, chances of getting squash. So uh, here we go. Boom. And here we are. We have two quarters of crappie and two quarters of melon. So the normal speed that I usually use for melons and pumpkins is 240. And with the rogue sword, I get pretty close to that. So uh, I might use that to farm melons and pumpkins just so that it boosts my um, chances of squash a bit more. There is actually a melon contest happening right now. I'm gonna try my luck with uh, maybe getting a squash. I feel like that's very optimistic but uh, never say never you know. And there we go farming contest done. Another bronze medal for us. And now if we open up Anita over here, you can see that we have 13 bronze medals. So I'm going to go ahead and actually convert those into silver ones. And then I'm also going to go and get a gold medal from that. And I think what I'm going to do next is actually buy a pumpkin dicer. Because now that we have two quarters of the crappie armor, I actually want to try and grind out some squash. So uh, it's only appropriate to get the correct tool for it as well. So here we go. 32 tickets and one gold medal. Boom. Pumpkin dicer. 
And this thing, once again, can be upgraded just like the Melon Dicer. I guess it goes up to Pumpkin Dicer 3.0. And I went ahead and put on Efficiency 5. I also bought a Slender 2 book and we have the Turbo Pumpkin 4 as well. So uh, I will definitely be working towards maxing that and the Sunder one out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try my luck with pumpkins for a little bit and uh, see if I can possibly drop a squash. The only reason why I want a squash is just to see the armor recipes. As uh, I haven't seen them before, so um, I'm curious, you know? I wanna see what it looks like. No way! I just dropped a squash! That's huge! Look at that squash helmet. Requires farming skill 35. I'm almost there. <laughs> but okay, so what do we need? Squash, polished pumpkins, enchanted melon blocks. Oh my, that's a lot. And then enchanted cookies. Okay. More cookies, more melons. Okay, so it's basically pumpkins, melons, and cocoa. That's not... That's not too bad. Because uh, we will have to farm those to get the squash anyway, so uh, yeah, that's fine. Alrighty, I have been grinding some wheat. I even changed the plot, so I now have double wheat. I removed the sugarcane one and uh, replaced it with a second plot of wheat. I have been grinding and we now officially have enough materials for our next piece of crappie armor. And that is going to be the leggings. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and craft them. Bam. Look at us. Three quarters crappie. Now, uh, obviously, we will work towards the helmet. And then uh, I'm going to be hard grinding uh, pumpkins, melons, and cocoa beans to try and get the squash. Our rabbit should be done upgrading. Let's go and pick him up. Boom. It is now an epic. And for the legendary one, she wants 64 raw rabbit with 180,000 coins, which uh, I'm gonna go and grind right now, actually. I know for a fact I do not have any rabbit, so I'm just gonna go and quickly grind some. It shouldn't take too long, really. And there we go, a stack of raw rabbit. Let's go back to cut. All right, let's get this upgrade. And it's gonna take, oh, only one day. Okay. Well, see you tomorrow, I guess. In the meantime, I've just been leveling up our little bee. It's now level 93. So uh, once the rabbit is done, I'm probably going to chuck her in. And also when it comes to the account upgrades, I'm currently doing the farming fortune 3. It has four days left on it. So uh, yeah, guys, we are going to start farming mushrooms. What the hell is this? 1024 copper for 76 enchanted brown mushroom blocks isn't that a lot of copper i feel like 76 enchanted mushroom blocks isn't that much i know farming mushrooms isn't exactly a blast it's quite like a, a tedious task i guess or like an annoying task but 1000 copper for that i i swear that's like way too much no what do you think yeah, because look at this guy. He wants 15 enchanted red mushroom blocks. And he's only giving me 40 copper. And this guy only wants like, what, 60 more? And he's giving me 1,000? What? Another thing, I have been farming pumpkins. And we can now actually go ahead and upgrade our pumpkin dicer to the pumpkin dicer 2.0. So uh, here we go. Boom. And then this is the progress that I've made towards the Melon Dicer 3.0. So we're we're about halfway there, a bit over halfway. So uh, yeah, things are going pretty good. I'm just going to continue farming wheat for now. We need three more boxes of seeds, which is seven stacks and a half of enchanted seeds. And I think I already have maybe like a stack and a half. So uh, yeah, I'll just be working towards uh, those last six stacks. And then we're actually going to have full crappie armor, which is absolutely insane. So I think it's time we actually buy another hoe blueprint and uh, actually turn it into a sugarcane hoe so that I can actually start grinding some money and we can potentially start doing some dungeon runs. So uh, here we go. Let's purchase it. Do I have enough gold medals? Oh, I didn't convert it yet. Wait, boom. And then boom. Beautiful. There we go. That should be eight stacks of sugarcane. And there it is. Sugarcane hoe. Boom. That's our fourth tool. And uh, let me go to the island and actually enchant it quickly. 
my island is kind of all over the place right now because I'm kind of renovating a little bit. So to upgrade this hoe to tier 2, we will need 4 stacks of enchanted sugar and 1 stack of Jacob's tickets and well, I've got 2 stacks of enchanted sugar so we're off by like 2 stacks and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and harvest some here. So the way I harvest sugarcane is at a 45 degree angle, you can see that right here. And 325 speed ideally, I haven't, <laughs> my speed cap isn't high enough yet. So my speed only goes to 324, but uh, should be 325. And then you just go back and forth really. It's very, very simple. And there we have it. We can now go ahead and upgrade our hoe. Beautiful. And just like the wheat hoe, this one also has a counter and it will upgrade its rarity once we reach 100,000 counter. For the next tier of this hoe, we will need 4 stacks of tickets and 4 stacks of enchanted sugarcane. So that's what I'm going to be working towards. And uh, yeah, once I get mining 25, I think it was for the blessed reforge. I will definitely be putting the blessed reforge onto the hoe because this is going to be our main money making method. Because if you sell one stack of enchanted sugarcane, I think you get around 3.2 mil if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it's somewhere around there. So it's pretty good money and it doesn't really take long. So I'm probably going to use like three plots to farm sugarcane. As uh, just like the wheat, it is semi AFK. I can literally do something else or like watch something. And just chill and do this and uh, we'll get money, we'll get millions and uh, once we have millions we can actually do some dungeon runs and I'm really excited for that. Alrighty, so I have been doing some more farming and making compost. We now have 35 and they actually did a change I believe in how much the plots cost because normally they would scale up so th this plot was actually 64 compost but now it's down to 32 on both sides so I'm not sure if once I unlock this for example if this one will, will scale up but if I look at this one this one now costs 64 when it had I think 128 before so I think they changed this a little bit so let's go ahead and actually purchase plot 8 and see what happens with this one so they're, they're both 32 right now Oh, it's 48 so it still scales but not as much okay that's fine and then as you probably saw when i opened my inventory we now finally have enough seeds to make the crappie helmet oh my goodness this was a long time coming so much grinding wheat but there it is crappie helmet L let's get it i want it beautiful look at that it actually looks pretty cool as well uh let me also let, let's do this the correct way let's put on the full set so the full crappie set wow that's amazing and we now have 306 farming fortune without holding any sort of tool so if i get let's get our sugar cane hoe out we now have 368 farming fortune which is absolutely amazing I have also been farming quite a bit of sugarcane to the point where our counter is now at 400,000 so it upgraded its rarity by one. I sadly missed it so I don't have a clip of it but we now have a rare sugarcane hoe which is pretty nice. And also the next thing that we were going to be grinding for is the squash armor so I currently have 12 squash we need 80 in total for the full set and then obviously the pumpkins the melons and the cookies so I'll be, I'll be grinding towards that. Our rabbit is now also done upgrading, so let's pick him up. There we go, a legendary rabbit. He's now level 91 because when you upgrade its rarity, they lose a little bit of XP as the levels expand, basically. I think it's the easiest way to say it. So let's go and equip him. I'm going to level him up back to level 100. And let's see what the bee's requirement is to upgrade it. What did I just do? So 36,000 coins and a block of gold, two stacks. I think I might have that. Let me go and check quick. All right, so yeah, I did have more than enough gold on my island. So let's go ahead and start the upgrade for the B. It's gonna take six hours. So here you go, enjoy, and I'll come and pick you up in a bit. So yeah, as you just saw, we now have the full set of copy armor, which is pretty crazy. 
I don't know how long it took me, but it was definitely quite a couple of hours of farming over the past couple of days. In terms of my farming skill, we are now level 37. Yeah, 37, 31% into 38, which is quite crazy. Means that we can also use the squash armor. I think it was at 35 if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, we just need to get all the materials for it and uh, we will be able to use it. In terms of my hoes, if I just quickly show you the counter, our wheat hoe is at 4.1 mil. Our sugarcane hoe is at 6.4 mil, which is quite crazy. I have done a lot of farming. I actually have all the materials to even upgrade its rarity, except for we are missing one ticket. So you need four stacks of tickets and I have three stacks and 63. Absolute joke, but uh, yeah. And if you look in here, I already have the four stacks of the enchanted sugarcane. So uh, yeah, we need that one ticket and another festival is starting in 22 minutes. So I'm just waiting for that really. <laughs> and then another thing that I did is actually upgrade my melon dicer to 3.0. And uh, I have just been farming a melons for the squash armor. I also made this sort of farm area on my island. And if we look in the chest right here, we now have 50 squash. So for the full set, you need 80. So we need 30 more. And uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I have been getting very lucky. Usually when I do a farm contest, so like 20 minutes of farming, I get about five of them. So... Yeah, it hasn't really been hard at all. And what I use for farming is three quarters of crappie and then I use the rancher's boots with it. And the last thing that I want to do here is actually purchase our final piece of lotus equipment. I have been doing trades, so we now have over 500 copper, so we can go ahead and buy the lotus cloak. So here we go, beautiful. And we now have all the equipment pieces. And that, without holding any sort of tool, gives us 331 farming fortune. I have another exciting thing to share, and that is that we actually managed to get an elephant pet. And I'm so excited to have this pet because once we get it to legendary, one of its perks is gonna boost our farming fortune even more. So that's pretty exciting, and I'm definitely gonna work towards upgrading him and leveling him up. But anyway, I think that's all for today's farming update video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, consider subscribing or maybe even liking. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!